Hi friends. Nice to see ya. Uh, a lot has happened since we talked last. Um, first, hello, welcome to the vlog. I'm Sarah Jane if you're new here. I share just everyday life. Uh, I'm an author and a podcaster and to like live the best life possible and share that journey with you. When, right now that includes this delicious coffee. This is a crepe. It's like a Greek crepe. Um, I shared the recipe on TikTok. I'll try to include it here. Um, it's just in instant coffee with brown sugar whipped up with water and milk. Um, I am home from our trip. We've been home for about five days now and we got home and we both Obi and I tested positive for COVID so honestly not surprising because we were doing a ton of traveling and we were in Florida which is kind of like the COVID capital of the world right now so um we're not shocked we're both triple vaxxed um mine has been more serious i think than his has been which we kind of also expected uh, basically for the last 10 days i've not existed like i the end of our vacation i really just kind of like slept all day almost every day it's just, it's just been been rough i started feeling a little bit better this weekend um but still not good enough to like do a ton of stuff and so we're we're it's monday it's kind of like the day to get things done but i really thought i'd feel better by now uh than i do i don't feel great um yeah i really thought like by day 10 like i would feel less tired uh but i'm still kind of like getting woozy a lot and stuff like that so we're just, I'm gonna try to be as gentle as possible, but also this is a day where I need to get things done. I need to, I have some admin tasks I need to do. I need to, I had all of my podcast interviews for the month of July scheduled for this week. Um, my voice is going in and out. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. So I don't think that's gonna happen. Um, so I need to reschedule those. I also have a photo shoot that I was supposed to model for this week that I need to check in with them to see. I'm definitely no longer contagious. I want everybody who interacts with me to have that choice. So I'm talking to them. I need to like see if they want to reschedule or if they want to kind of push through. Uh, and then I have to plan my content for the month of July. I, I have to start recording podcasts again this week. So I need to figure out what that's going to look like. Um, plan out my tasks for the month of July, do my bullet journal, but then also there's just household tasks that need to get done. Like I haven't unpacked from our trip. Um, Obi has thankfully been cleaning since we've been home, which I been trying to do like a little bit, but like he's definitely done the majority of the cleaning. So I thought I was going to have a ton of dishes to do and stuff, but thankfully I don't. Um, but yeah, there's just stuff to do. I need to take trash out. Um, I need to do a grocery order, that kind of stuff. Plants need to be taken care of, but I want to do all of it as gently as possible so that I don't, or, you know, I don't want to keep being sick. So as much as I can let myself rest while also getting these things done, that is the goal for today. With that in mind, I don't know what we're going to do, how much we're actually going to get done. Um, I'm going to focus mostly on the things for work that have like consequences, like rescheduling meetings, um, those sorts of things, things that if I don't take care of them, there will, there will, things will happen versus if I, you know, if I go another day without unpacking, nothing's going to happen. So that's the plan. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey of getting my life back together after travel and after being sick. Um, 
and here's to you and your health. <laughs> Well, it's a good start back. Basically, my phone fell straight into my coffee cup, dipped right in, and uh, spilled it all over my bullet journal and my iPad and the table. So, um, cleaning it up, but not a fun way to get started um definitely not the least stressed i've ever been um yay i'm gonna make some more coffee i guess the plus side of that is that i can now show you how i made this coffee so um i use instant coffee i really like cafe bustello um and you just use two tablespoons. I don't know if you guys remember uh, 2020 when everyone was really into the Dalgona coffee. It's similar to that. The major difference is that it's not as precise and it just doesn't take as long. And you can mix it with water and then two scoops of brown sugar or you can actually do one scoop of brown sugar, no brown sugar if you want to. Um, you decide how sweet you want it. I like for it to be equitable. Then you just add some water. With the Dalgona, you had to do two, 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 um, or one, 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 you like an equal ratio. With this, you don't have to. So I just add a little bit of filtered water. So I added like that much. And you use your hand frother until it changes color, becomes a little bit thicker. And with this one, you're kind of frothing it till it froths a lot of the cup up. So um, you want it to become like stiff peaks. And if you see, if you leave it kind of like half submerged, it'll start to grow kind of rapidly. And that's what you want. Um, see? And then do half milk, half water, all milk. Um, I usually do half milk, half water, but I added a lot of water to this. So um, now I'm just gonna add milk. And then um, I like to add ice. And then you just add your ice. Okay, meetings are canceled. Um, at least like the ones I could cancel. I um, scheduled, I got a massage for Mother's Day for my mom. And I scheduled that for myself for when I get better. <laughs> it's not like I'm crying. Um, and now it is time to look at my content calendar for the coming month and figure out what kind of content I'm going to make for podcast, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for July. Honestly, because my brain is not 100% here, um, I'm really just probably going to look at what really needs to happen for next week. Um, kind of be gentle with myself for this week and then figure out what content I need to make this week for next week. And um, let that be all right. 
<laughs> so um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And then next week I'll look at the rest of the month, but hooray. Okay, so I just realized that I, in my sickened stupor, um, got all of my edited podcasts from my editor on Friday and didn't schedule them this week, which makes sense. Um, so I have one advertisement this week. So what I'm going to do is I think record a behind the scenes episode tomorrow um, explaining why I missed a week and put the ad in that and then we'll just use those already edited episodes for next week so that will ultimately give me less to do this week um but will help give an explanation and i won't miss that ad spot so i think that's going to be like a win-win i just need to communicate that with my editor today and then um so he knows what's up and then I my little sick brain cannot solve this problem <laughs> um, and I can solve it when I'm feeling better that seems like the better solution So I wanted to do a more collage style um, bullet journal this month. And so I just finished kind of picking the photos I wanted to use and thought I would show you kind of how I go about like printing them um, to like the size I want. So here, I'll show you. So typically I pick like a form that has just like lots of place for lots of pictures. Um, um, so very roughly, I just put in all the photos I wanted and put them in at different sizes and shapes so that they would not all be the same size and shape. And then uh, print them for my printer. Um, sitting at the table is just wearing me out. That is a bummer. Um, but I wanted to show you what I've gathered to do my bullet journal. Um, I have this brown bag <laughs> that I'm going to use to like, as scrap paper. Um, this is my bullet journal right now. Uh... I have my pencil case. This has like the markers I used for last month in it. Some washi tape, these stamps, and then I'll show you. Then my little bullet journal shelf. So this has markers in it. Um, this has some washi tape in it. Ink, stamp pads, and then tons of stamps down here so yeah all of these supplies I'm gonna put a YouTube video on in the background and just sit down and try to do this slowly relax make it enjoyable not like a really intense task but just kind of like something to do with my hands while I rest and um I'll flip through it when we're done show you what show you what it ended up like trying to eat at home five days a week no like eating out it's really hard <laughs> because it's just so convenient to get takeout or delivery but i've been doing my best so that's how i'm kind of tracking my habits in here there's also like a
Okay, so bullet journal is done. Um, this is the opening page for July. Uh, this is my June review page. Um, so I'll go through and put in or my highlights from June, um, a few like little more in-depth memories, and then what were the challenges there as well. And then this is July at a glance. So this is just kind of like an overview of my calendar. This is, um, you know, what are my top three priorities for this month? Kind of where are we at financially? My three core desired feelings for the month and my top three goals. Um, priorities are things that I have control over. So, um, you know, where do I, what do I really have to get done? And goals are more things that I like wish for, but maybe aren't necessarily in control of then we have july this is um my just like running dates so what i'll put here are any like important deadlines that i have for projects or also any travel dates any meetings that i have things like that and then july highlights i'll just put a sentence every day of what something good that happened that day or like my favorite part of the day and then this is going to be my weekly spread. It's really simple. I'll just put my appointments for the week here, um, tasks for the week in each of these boxes each day, and then any kind of like meal ideas that I want to have. And then I've glued in some pictures just to kind of get me started, but I want to um, start adding more photos into my journal so that I can like have a visual of my memories as well as, you know, my words. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll fill this out sometime when my brain is um, fully functioning and that will not be today. <laughs> but for now, I'm, I need to sit down and actually look at my tasks because um, I just need to get a sense of, well, here, I'll turn you toward me. For today, I do need to sit down and look at my tasks because I just need to know where I'm at in terms of work, um, getting back into the swing of things. I think I've set myself up, I think I've problem solved well enough to have a pretty gentle week this week as I get better, um, but I still need to make sure that I'm on top of things. So I'm gonna look into that and um, then I'll check back in with you figure out what we're doing next. I'm going to be honest, guys, that really took it out of me. <laughs> I'm like full on wiped. So that's exciting. Last time I am pretty sure I had COVID in 2019 before we knew what COVID was. And that's kind of, I think I've just been battling long COVID with my lungs for like several years. And so it was very, um, scary right now because when I was in the beginning phases of being sick I felt really like not scared it felt like okay we're sick and like we're just gonna deal with it and now that I'm getting toward the end and there's some like lingering symptoms like fatigue and cough um it's kind of triggering me um making me feel really scared that like what if, because I feel like I've been making a lot of progress with my lungs. Um, they weren't like perfectly healed. I didn't feel like I was back to normal, but I did feel like I was like starting to make some progress. And I'm really scared of being kind of back at ground zero. I'm going to get emotional. But... <laughs> Um, all I can do is just like try to take care of myself the best I can right now so that I can prevent that, hopefully. Um, I think last time, from what I've read, you're not supposed to take a cough suppressant because it can turn it to pneumonia, it can cause it to turn to pneumonia, and I was diagnosed a cough suppressant pretty early on in my sickness last time so I think that's why it turned into pneumonia which then turned into long COVID so I am hopeful that this time will be different but it's just scary you know um 
But I think I'm going to honor that part of me that just knows I'm really tired and let myself rest um, for probably the rest of the day. I This is the first day that I've really tried to do anything um, other than just like get home. And um, so I'm proud of myself for doing a little bit but I'm not gonna push it. I'll do a little bit more tomorrow and, and so on. Um, but thank you guys so much for joining me for this little attempt at getting back to life. And I will see you next week with hopefully m more energy and good news about how I've recovered. So thanks for being here and I will see you next time. Bye.